Welcome, everybody. We are here, and uh, I, I love when we get these fun, fun episodes. When we, have a get, when we get a guest in studio. We got a guest. An old friend and an I old homie. I have talked to a human being besides you in four months. Oh. It's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, man. Can you hear me? This is an old friend, old homie, <laughs> very funny comedian, Mr. David <laughs> Del Rosario. Gentlemen. Thanks for coming out. DDR. Here, DDR. 305. Represent. Dies. We go way Florida. back with David. So, David, uh, you're, gonna, you're hearing this on a Monday. Uh, yeah, on the on th- this Thursday the twentieth, David. Uh, what, what do you got coming up, man? You, you, well, this is on, exciting. Th- uh, this is big announcement. Uh, so on Thursday, uh, August twentieth, I'll be having my HBO taping air on HBO Max, and it's uh, so everybody can check it out on uh, download the HBO Max app, and uh, it's got great selection of films and series and and myself. And David, <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, it's it's uh, you can either watch The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. Or David Del Rosario. I'm on the same <laughs> yeah, app yeah. as James Gandolfini. Yeah, yeah. So that's what more that's super can you exciting, want man. Out that's of fantastic. Life. You made it. I remember the day I met you. You go. I just want to be on an app. Make it relax. Right? Yeah. That James <laughs> Gandolfini's on. No, that was his, that was his uh, childhood dream. This was the me. actual conversation oh. that Matt and I had when yeah. we first met. It yeah. wasn't even hello or hi. I oh, was just like, I want to be on the same app. As that's how we met. He grabbed me yeah. off the street. <laughs> he just shook me. J- uh, Tim, you were on stage, and then he said it to me. You were in the back. I was just like, he was like, hey, what do you want? And I was like, okay, yeah, I want to be on the same app as James Gandolfini. And then, and this is before apps. And then this, and then, and then you were like, thank you, I'm Tim Hanlon. And then got, then that was it. Tim, he never gets. I'm used to performing to comics in the back talking. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. So we knew David since since uh, our South Florida days, man. Yeah, man. This uh, is this is cool. Yeah, it's been a long time. And you know what's crazy, man? It's so many South Florida comics are out here now in LA. It's uh, wild. Yeah, I, I I've always run. And into three of them are good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Uh, there's there's a lot of pe- there's, dude. Well, you get. I was in New York before I moved out here. Right? Okay. So that was a whole different animal. Of, Where in New of, York were you staying? I was staying in Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, staying in Brooklyn in uh, off Wilson off that, the L. Anybody? That's, no. Just, okay. That's the spot though. Yeah. Well, right? I'm dude. <laughs> yeah, no, Wilson you, off the L. Yeah. Yeah. You, you remember, you guys? I don't anyway? know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no. And <laughs> and um, actually, it's funny enough. There was a there was a few comics that I would run into on the regular. Uh, Pat Schroeder, uh, Will Watkins, Mike yes. Mercadol, who I would just like you know bump into occasionally at places like the Creek or uh, you know, uh, I would see Schroeder at like the Stand doing roast uh, masters, you know, and stuff like that. So you didn't do one of those. Naked Naked roast, did he? he I, I did. On? I did. You I did? did? I did naked roast. You yes. did a naked oh, roast? Oh, dude, I lost. I lost oh, so I mean, bad. Yeah. Clearly. You know, it, was yeah, to no. a, it was to this redhead uh, that had just, like, just, she was just very. Oh, she thin. lost to a, yeah. a naked redhead? It you was a roast. naked, yeah. dude, was I had a woman? to roast a, a naked that. redhead that looked out of, like, oh, brother, where art thou? In that scene where they're, like, moaning <laughs> and screaming on the side of the river. Jeez. I was just like, yeah, and I just had. Why would they, wait, if it's naked, why wouldn't they have you roast another man? Oh, well, see, that's the thing. You're at a disadvantage right away. Dude, dude, am I? Am I? Because I felt like I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but dude, it, it like right Luckily away. Luckily, it was a chick that had no jokes. I dude. mean, she had boobs and a vagina the whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, like, yeah. Any of like yeah. I'm gonna look. We don't she stand was, a chance. Look, and yeah. look, in retrospect, she was an attractive lady, and I was not a very attractive man in the nude. It's not like so, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And no, no, that's the thing. It was. Co- it was They're yelling, put it was, on, yeah. put it yeah. on. No, no. And dude, I, I, hey, I worked out so much Wait, did leading you come up to out that naked, naked roast. I've never seen one of these naked. Full I'm not blown naked nudity, dick balds, out. dick. How you walked out if on you're stage into it. naked? Yeah, dude. Yes, so many man. questions. Yeah. First of all, you, you trimmed up, obviously. Uh, right? you, 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 a little, I, yeah, man, not enough. A little, not enough. I'll tell you this much right now. I don't remember a goddamn thing from. It was just trauma. Where was it? It was in the Brooklyn Bazaar during Legion. Of Skanks, um, Skank Fest uh, okay. festival, oh. and it was just all these like you know up and coming kind of newer New York. Com- and I and I even I was with my dad at Home Depot when I got it the text. It was just a bunch of gullible comics. Dude, dude, and, and, and dude everybody's insulted. getting naked backstage. Everybody's getting yeah. naked backstage, uh, and and all the all the comic judges are getting naked as well. So you got people like like mm. Ari Shafir pre Kobe, and you got Steve Brandon. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a hammer, dude. I heard, dude. Too. Well, look, they're all they're Bridget. all like Speak dude. Bridget. So it's everybody, yeah. and dude, it sucked because there was like you know a, a Zach Amico's butt naked walking down with Ugh. like a like a like a lantern, like as it's, it's some human sacrifice is about to go down. It's it's very a, an impending, imposing feeling wow. to be naked on. And stage. now you're on HBO. And so. now I'm on HBO. <laughs> Look at that. So you, you should have just walked out naked. And go. I, I thought the this is how we always do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I wonder why I'm not on HBO and I've like I've never gotten naked on camera before. Mm. I think. I, well, mm. there was no cameras there. Were you got to play the role? Bro. Yeah. They don't. They don't like allow any camera yeah, no yeah, recording yeah. or nothing That's like good. that. At the naked roast. At the naked roast, uh, yes, Tim. Yes, <laughs> he was like at the naked roast, right? Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, it was. It that would was actually like, help my career. I think I would. <laughs> it's. I'm gonna be honest with you. It doesn't. <laughs> <In> naked <laughs> roast. No, no, no fucking it does not. Chance. No, no, no. It doesn't. Even if you win.
end, you feel like mm, there's no winners in a naked I got roast. <laughs> something, and it's not something yeah, palpable. Yeah, I'm not down with the naked roast. I'm not down with the fucking underwear show. Yeah, any of yeah. that's just fucking. Just I've done joke, that man. too. Yeah. I've done. I've done it's the pajama. Weird. What have you said no to? No. Well, I said no. <laughs> there's a show where I had to fuck a dog. I, I was like, I'm not doing that. I said no to Hulu. Now, <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Quibi. No, but but yeah, no. I, yes, I said Quibi's no to Quibi and note, Hulu. Yeah. Those were the two people I said no to. No, but. Um, you know what? I did it because I was like, fuck it, dude. I was like, you know what? You only get this chance once. Like the like, experience yeah, kind of? Yeah, Rob, uh, one of the guys from Legion was just like, hey, we need like an eighth man. It was like they were drafting this shitty basketball game that nobody wanted to be a part guy of. Wait, hold on. So wait, you were already dick out. And then the app, you already did the roast, the naked roast. Yeah, you come out and they then they announce like, your name to about two hundred and fifty people. Wow. And it's a Legion of Skanks. It's Fest. Legion of oh. Skanks Fest, right? And then so you come out, dick out, hmm. you know, balls out, and uh, and then you now have to proceed to roast a a rather attractive lady and come off yeah. as the winner. I didn't win. No, I didn't you win. Lost, it's, but the best naked. line of the night, hands down, towards me was like, uh, "You got a nice dick." And uh, and Ranasizi was just like, well, at least you were naked, and that was it. That was pretty much the highlight of hmm. the entire experience. Wait, now now wait, on wait. this HBO taping, you, you close, close on, close on, okay, close on. Yeah, takes a little. I know it's on. HBO. <laughs> HBO's a little. I different. know it's HBO, but no, close. I've seen James Gunn Dolphini's dick on HBO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So by the way, if HBO, what episode are you watching, bro? Oh, dude, what? No, Is they naked in that shit. No, no, of course oh, not. Okay. Mm. What? I don't know. But I mean, if HBO wants to do like a you know, they like dicks, Cuban Doctor Manhattan situation, I'll be there down with it. You know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. It, it, um, yeah. So wait, but then they ask you after you already did the naked roast, and they're like, "Do you want to put some underwear on and do a show?" And at that point, you're like, "Yeah." Th- no, 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 that's a different it. show. Dude. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, he doesn't this, wear clothes in yeah, a lot of his yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, this, 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 Tim, this Tim, this is true. No, uh, uh, but uh, no, it wasn't after the it, I, I did the Skank Fest, and that was just one of the many times where I've done like a weird show or something like that. It's crazy. But, yeah. I'd never do CJ. Would you ever go, do a naked show, Dick Out? Dude, I don't know, man. I'm pretty. CJ, yeah, CJ, CJ, no, no, CJ, CJ, that was not a no. CJ, like, that was not it. a no. I'll that was it. like that took like, dude, you, I, you see, <laughs> see, here's the thing. I don't think he would CJ do. CJ has to be told if to I, put his clothes my on. My Jewish attorney friend gives me these looks like as if I'm a defendant. If I'm <laughs> yeah. full of shit, he'll notice it right away. And let me tell you right now, you would fucking do it. I'm pretty I, no, self. I saw, 100% do yeah, it. Dude. I'm pretty self conscious about my flaccid penis, bro. I'm like, I mean, I would be. You're good, dude. You're gonna be fine. If I was roasting a fat guy, for sure, I'll do it. Oh, but that's it. Yeah. All right. What about, what about a, a hot red? What about a hot chick? redheaded yeah, chick, dude? I feel go. like you lose either way. Dude, right. Like yeah. You're right. Yeah. Lose, lose. Yeah. 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 Right. I was set up. I, I, I was the heel that night. Yeah. You can't win. Then. Yeah. 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 Not. Was, <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> it's a setup. I was. Yeah, dude. It was. I, like, dude, dude. We told you. Get them. They be killed my intro. They killed uh-huh. it. Number one. I come out and the first joke it kind of hits, but then the second joke pff, flounders. I was done. And then she said something. She had a. She had like a rebuttal, and I was. Just, I was done. What was your first joke? He's like, I don't even get out of here. It's like, I, it's like the girl's one dick joke away from the sealed victory. No, no I was, done. Apparently I was, he's got a nice dick, though. Dude, ah, yeah, 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 well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've heard that. Hey, Everyone listen, knows. Listen, that. I got, listen. You don't know DDO. Listen, listen. <laughs> For me to for look, it, for, let's talk. Let, j- jokes aside, jokes aside. For me to get multiple, hey, you got a nice like com- roast. common. Yeah, right. It was like, yeah, yeah, I take that. I'll walk away from that. Thirty-one years, way. I've gotten like two, hey, nice dicks, and I don't think they were genuine either. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like, see, that's the thing. I, and so you're you're walking out of a, a Thunderdome, yeah. naked, and yeah. everyone's just yelling, hey, nice dick. And yeah. it's got to like, be a nice piece. Yeah, I got beat, but yeah, you know, I got meat. That's sure. It. Thank you. Dang, fuck Tim. Damn. That's like that's like let, a high. Let me ask you this though. Did you kind of? Did you kind of? A little before you fluff it, with it? Uh, a little bit. Oh yeah, For those yeah. Of you, you can't, have to. A little bit. Yeah, you can't see. Bit. Nobody you can't see yeah. CJ yeah. off camera. He, he, he did that. you. You ever do that scene? You ever do that scene where where like like the actors how they like do like a lap around the studio to kind of get themselves revved up? It's yeah. like that. Were you doing, it up. So wait, you're doing push ups? No, 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 I wasn't doing push ups. Yeah. No. yeah, I mean, you know, well, I was doing a certain kind of push up, but sure. it wasn't Dick the, the regular kind of push ups. You know. But um, but then and then after that HBO came calling. No, yeah, it is. No, yeah, but uh, like, you know, we need the meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. They 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 were just like, yep, that's the one. No. <laughs> but so uh, before, well, let's, have, let's I guess let's backtrack. Yeah, let's talk about the journey. Well, let's go back before before <laughs> we'll get back to the old yeah, naked wait, cock let's show. Let's go back so, to when you had your clothes on and doing comedy down in South Florida. This is the funniest thing about this. Like, it's so I haven't seen David in a little bit. But like it's so great, like he's coming here. He's talking about doing an HBO show. I mean, the, the naked shit. You got to do what you got to do. No, but, like, no. We go I, back. But we yeah, go back like ten years in yeah. comedy. Yeah, we have done 
I, I wasn't there for your naked shit. But we've no, done no. some of the worst shows. Like, oh, we came man. up in South Florida. So for, for you to come out of the South Florida, I don't did, <laughs> did you start there? Yeah, I, okay. I started. Yeah, so I started to start in, in South Florida, Florida work state. your way up, move to New York, move to LA, and then yep. get an HBO shot. That's spot. it, man. That's that's fucking. It's that's, literally that's so it's, good. It's just going up the ranks. Is I mean, a lot of people don't know the grind that it takes. Yeah, I mean, just moving, and then you go to a new scene. You got to start over. A lot of people telling you, you know, uh, you know, your dick's not good enough. It's never gonna <laughs> yeah. make it in this yeah, town, yeah, yeah. you know. And you're yeah. like, no, my dick's gonna make it. If no. it went down differently that night at the Brooklyn Bazaar <laughs> for Skankfest, yeah. I think I wouldn't be where I am right no. now. So <laughs> I had to get every, a little confidence. But, so but you know, has their own path. all jokes aside, a regular closed on, like if you happen to bomb, that's got to feel like nothing after that. Oh, dude. You know what I'm saying? I was bulletproof. It'll give you callous. Right. Like, you're that, like, I have clothes. Like, you can't do anything to me it'll now. It'll make you hard. Hey, look, I'll tell you. Exactly. Thank you. Come on, dude. <laughs> Boom. Yes. That's why we get paid. This is why we do. Yeah. On, on the Dope City broadcast, yeah, this bitches. Is it. Uh, but no, uh, he, what, what, the, the, the turning point for me with, uh, in New York, because it was like, yeah, I, I was, I did that to kind of like uh, put myself into the scene somewhat. It sure. didn't do fucking yeah. a damn no, thing. No. It wasn't up until I got past that Gotham that it there was like legit. Now you earned yeah, yeah, that's that's respectable. Yeah. So I was like so so I'm you know, Gaffigan's coming in or Seinfeld's coming in to just work on shit and who are I, these and, guys? And it was like and so what I did <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. Who? Uh, yeah, I never yeah. did a naked yeah. rose. Yeah. <coughs> exactly. Oh exactly. They they don't know what the fuck. It would never. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Gaffigan. Gaffigan's never going to How great would that. would that be if Simon yeah. did a, ro- a naked rose against Gaffigan? Against yeah. Gaffigan? Oh, my God. That'll be terrifying. Oh, you're um, gonna stand what's there with the deal? Yeah. Um, all right, I'm not going to stand there. Yeah. 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 What's just, the deal with these yeah. fucking pale guys? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so wait, so wait. Tell me about the fucking... You got HBO, man. That's fantastic. Yes. Tell, tell us about that, man. Yeah. Well, can, I, can we... So lead me up. How'd you find out? Yeah. I, you I, got this. Or how'd you audition? Okay. Or was, was, how, do you get it? how do you do this? We're I, brag a little bit, I, dude. Okay, yeah. Let it loose. Okay, so I I was... Working with one of uh, Gabriel Iglesias' writers, uh, Rick Gutierrez. I know Rick. Uh, yeah, so he yeah. Well, he uh, shows. I don't know him that well. He, well, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he 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 basically saw me at a couple shows. Did a funny bone with him on a weekend, and I featured for him. And I uh, had really really good weekend with him. And he's like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up with a couple people. And it turns out that um, these uh, organizers, which were the uh, the the Hispanic Comedy Festival, it was like this old Latino comedy fest that was huge. Gabe, uh, Fluffy got discovered on. It. Uh, like all the the big time Latino comedians were the ones that would come out on this big industry thing. So those people were trying to repurpose the festival, and uh, Rick put in a good word for me. And I did two auditions. I did one look over at the New York Comedy Club uh, over at East Twenty Fourth, and I and uh, my girlfriend Am and I, who's also a comedian, we were literally having breakfast when uh, the people that were. Uh, looking to have me show up at the festival to showcase for them, and uh, we didn't have shit to do. We had, uh, you know, we had some scratch on us, and then uh, one of the organizers was like, "Hey, can you make it to, you know, New York on Thursday?" And and like I was like, "Let me call you back." And I'm like, "We're having fucking pancakes," and we're like, <laughs> "You want to go to New York? New York like, for yeah. a couple of days?" Yeah, and she's like, "Yeah." So we just fucking flew out, had a New York uh, Comedy Club showcase. Uh, the people were there. Uh, fucking did my thing, crushed, and then. Let me ask you uh, a question. Any yes, any any more level of nerves when you go into something? Because because you're just are you straight up just are you showcasing at a show? Is it a room in front of just like a panel? The of New York Comedy Club. Our fucking, New, well, right. I know I know <laughs> the New York Comedy Club, but I didn't know they're just holding like 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 it's a show. Well, New York Comedy Club is not it's not a huge room. Oh, I'm very familiar. We do it, it, we it, did it like twice a year. Yeah, for a while, it, it's but. not and, and it wasn't sold out. Was it, it the wasn't, East Village, like the new East Village one or yeah, the older it was, one on it was the older one on East Twenty Fourth. Okay, so okay. it's so so it's not a big room. Right. So you gotta like you gotta come I was like Dude, I gotta rip these motherfuckers' head off. Like, there's no other option, bro. Right. It's like I, I, I don't know what other, you know, level to fucking go. It's like I, I know my act. I know what the fuck I'm gonna do. How long were you doing? I did. Gotcha. I think six minutes. Uh, during yeah. that. So you're like, you're like, don't even let them breathe for six. Don't minutes. Don't let them breathe go. for yeah. six minutes. Right. Plow them. You know, li- give them a little space for laugh time. You know, just so. The, and then, and then by the time they're done, it's like they got smacked in the face with a fucking hurricane. Dick out at the end. Exact. Dick uh, out. Right. Close. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But no. <laughs> Uh, but so no, you, so, you sma- so you do good. You smash this one. So, but yeah, and then I I kind of don't know what's the next step. How many? And, com- and I'm sorry, keep going. How many comics were on that show? It was like about seven. Okay, and are myself. they all doing good? Do you feel like you stood out in that situation?
situation. I, this now what? Like the second callback? So I, mean, this is I, like this. I was like listening to the showroom. I kind of want to know the temperature of no. the room a little bit. You know, Were, see who's were you in that to, little green room? I was in the little green, green room, room yeah. but then I couldn't hear shit. So yeah. I just stood in, in the hallway. hallway yeah. And I was just like, I was listening and I was listening. and I was Call just that like, marinating. Yeah. You like to sit yeah. in it and kind of marinate the vibe of what's happening. Marinating you know is yeah. when you put a steak yeah. in the room. No. Uh, but, but you're the steak. Yeah, I'm And the audience is the juice. It's the juice. Yeah. But yeah, so I... I thought I was like, if I just come in hot, right. like I think I could. I when did you go up? What I number? Could, dude, I, I got like a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, that's, that, I got, that's I got big. was like maybe six. Four. Yeah. Six or five. Yeah. yeah. Like I was just primed, like uh, bases loaded, just knock it out of the park, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, <clears throat> fucking McGuire on steroids. Like that's literally right. how it was. And um, and then I, I don't know shit for a couple weeks. And then I get a call from uh eric rivera i don't know if you know eric rivera he's got he's got another know. hbo mm-hmm. special called super white he's another latino comic funny as hell he, i know who he is i don't, yeah, I, I don't it, know <clears throat> so he's got a lat latino night at the laugh factory and then he's like uh the p the organizers of the festival were like okay uh we want uh eric put me and a couple other people that they were interested in on this particular show at the laugh factory okay yeah. so it was like another show at, at the one here on sunset? the one here on sunset first nice. time and first time ever performing on that stage i've never i had never performed on that stage. i just moved out I don't here i think i've been in, no i've done the chicago I laugh factory, the, uh, not the one in here the I, did, I did the one, one yeah. where you just yeah. like, to let you yeah, know yeah. how nice that is that you got to do that. i did the yeah. one where you have to go one up years ago yeah you would go out there you would sit on the sidewalk yeah. for two hours uh-huh. sign up for the next week Go back the next week and yeah. then do um, yep. two minutes, three yeah. minutes in Not front of Jamie. And Jamie was actually sitting there. Yeah. Jamie was and, – and you couldn't curse. Yeah. So it's like, I, I, what the fuck are we doing dude, here? Dude, I, look, I, I'm I, – I'm, So for you to get to go do a it, fucking it, showcase dude, like that – For me not to have to go through that. For me not to have to go through that, you know, I – Dude, we've paid. I mean, we paid our dues. I was gonna in the say Miami you, you kind of you did though in a different. You know, way. we yeah. paid our dues in Miami. Mm-hmm. I paid I paid dues in New York by like dude barking for the pair, like mm-hmm. just being on that rotation with people, just like on a Tuesday night at ten thirty. You got to make this crowd of you know ten yep. people laugh. Yep. You know, I've I've done my time. I, yeah. I got people yeah. in New York that'll be like, yeah. So when you got the shot, you were ready. You were fucking- yeah. I mean, I I did. I did the amount of time that I knew was the strongest and would get me like to that next like echelon it, and. When I finally, after the Laugh Factory thing, like, I finally started getting the calls. It was like, okay, now we're going to fly you out to Texas. There's a festival, and there's going to be, a, like, maybe, like, four or five shows that you're going to do. And they made a big emphasis on the new talent thing. And I was just like, okay, cool, new oh, talent, okay. whatever. And so, <clears throat> again, nothing with HBO. Like, so, so far that the HBO people are interested. The HBO people are in oh, Warner, too. So you're thinking it's like what, we're on a touring festival yeah, I don't. Right. I don't really think. Oh, this is gonna be for an HBO special right. taping or anything like that. I thought that okay, I'm gonna showcase my six minutes out in Texas to the HBO people, and then they'll sit me down and then they'll say whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, fast forward to January of this year, right, dude? Red carpet treatment. If you ever get a chance to do one of these festivals, if you get a <laughs> I've been telling you every time you turn on HBO, I'm like, dude, say yes. I know. Dude, I keep saying no. Yes, no, bro. but they're but, gonna give you snacks. But that. <laughs> that Tim, Tim, you know snacks. I fucking love snacks. snacks. <laughs> it's all, it's, honestly, it's it's for the snacks. How how were the snacks? No, we'll we'll, we'll get to the snacks. We'll get to the at, snacks at, at the actual. So goldfish, bro, flavor blast. So you're in. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> flavor. Wait, quick, <laughs> double uh, stuff. Just just quick, yes or no? Goldfish, you in on those? Yes or no? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay, so you're a human being. You like goldfish? No. Oh, you're you anti fucking goldfish. Can goldfish we just man. can we just talk about the whole goldfish yay nay debate? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I didn't even know there was a nay. I I I, I, I was almost give me a fucking jokingly time. being a couple of crying bars. This is the same. Turkey. This is the same show where it's very foot heavy, right? Foot heavy. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. Just, just making that it sure that, that this is. I'm on the right podcast. CJ likes to put the goldfish on the feet <laughs> and eat them off, and he's like, "I'll find Nemo." It's a whole flavor blast. I'll show you flavor dude, blast. Wait, hold on. All right, so dude, wait. You don't know? No, no. Okay. All right, so red carpet. <laughs> no, so no, no, you're going no. out to Houston now yeah, to do your about, thing. Yeah, or, they, or, or they, Texas. They, they fly out about. They fly out maybe like. 20 comic performers that are going to perform throughout the entire Are you on the same festival. flight? 20 like, did to you 30. all like Are you all like uh, waiting had, to get on the gate? You know, uh, at, Ida, at the gate in Ida Rodriguez? Rodriguez. Yeah. Ida, Ida Rodriguez? Yeah, I had the same plan as her. Dude, how tall is she in real life? She's, she could dunk on me. Dude. Right, straight up, yeah. right? Yeah. She's a yeah. badass. Yeah. She's just she's like, funny hey, as fuck, too, dude. how are you? I, lo- I love her. Dude, she's a powerhouse. She's yeah. Real funny. She's like, yeah. yeah. So, top notch. And un- again, I don't know shit. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go showcase for the HBO people. Nothing has really. The first day I do uh, the LOL Comedy Club out there, I do mm-hmm. a showcase. San Antonio. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Great club. A- awesome. I-, I love that club. It's weird though because it's like a it's like a big warehouse. Room, yeah. It's huge. Yes. It's, it's cavernous is the yes. way someone described yeah. it. And it is because yeah. it's big ceilings and it's fun though. Deep. Yes. It's fun. Love it. Good though. staff. Yeah. Great. Yes. Great. Top notch. Yeah. I Top love notch it. Club. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that was big. my first show. I landed. That was my first show at 10 o'clock that night. Great crowd. Great show. Again, I don't know. If an HBO person is gonna come up to me, or a Warner person is gonna come up to me, dude, I'm still up in the air. You know with what's all this funny shit. though, as a comic though, you you just land and you'd think that's all someone would be thinking about. But as a comic, it was not. He, you're thinking about like my six minutes, my set. What should I do? Because you're all just thinking about you're a comic first. You know what I'm saying? You're worrying yeah. about am I gonna bomb? And then afterwards, you're probably like, okay, who saw that? Did someone who needed to see that see yeah. it? You know? And then you start going into that like promoting mode. But I know like any comic, I don't care who you are, dude. Before a set, I feel at least, and I don't know, maybe, maybe you were thinking a little bit before, like, hey, I need to really turn it on because there's probably people, you know, HBO people here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still feel like you just go back to being a fucking comic like any other time. You're just like, oh, I'm going to suck. It's going to go good. Like, you I hype think, yourself up, you know? Like, what, do, do, That's why I think the dynamic with us, even when we're just talking shit, it's just there. It's yeah. just hardwired. Ah, yeah. It's in the no DNA, uh, you too, know, yeah. but it, that also, but, yeah. but even then it's like, I you know like comics you said, talking to comics Tom, yeah. comics talking yeah. to comics and look a- after that first night I was like okay whatever then I had the new talent thing the new talent thing was at a theater so completely different yeah completely different setup it was just the new talent this was not the taping that I was told I was told about the taping literally maybe the week of or like two weeks before they were like oh there's gonna be a taping for the festival still no thing of like hey it's gonna be for HBO did, you know do you or, think they knew at that point I think that they or maybe, did know. Or it was still being shot maybe I think that some of the other it, yeah. Yeah, yeah some of the other comedians knew some of they the, probably can't the, tell the, you the, sir, you know I, that kind of honestly I I had who, no time who fucking to, knows yeah I had no fucking time it's to almost kind of better yeah though. you're like I gotta do my you set that's what thinking about you don't get too much in your head yeah like. That's it. That's it. And it was. It was just especially big. if you've been on the road a lot lately, or at that time, you yeah. know, things were normal. Yeah, you were doing a lot of sets. Of course, you know, and you're just like, all right, yeah, let's do it. I'll do it right now. Yeah, I'd, and- I'd rather do that than no, maybe for a month or two, mo- or fucking God forbid, like three months ahead of time. Yeah, just to, you know, of course, start weighing over in your head. I'd Fuck rather yeah. just fucking yeah, just give me the mic. I'll go on stage. And then uh, the uh, the Saturday, so do the theater. The theater show to, goes good. Dude, yeah, but I know I got to shift. And it's the gears. same comics on every show, right? No, it's, it's no, like no, a tour. no, no, they, no. They change it up. It's, okay. it's almost like this little uh, this little selection of like five, six groups of of comics are okay. going to different clubs circulating okay. different parts of San Antonio. And then um, Saturday comes. I got the theater, and and it's it's you know, dude, it's it's great. It's it's not like a sold out double decker thing, but it's like it's it's a big crowd, you know. Like they're not taping this. This is kind of no pressure. This is just to showcase new talent. And you're doing the same six again. I'm doing the same six again. Okay. And at the same time, it's like okay, now I know I got to change the dynamic because a theater's theater, bigger. Sure. Yeah. D- just different. It's not a comedy club. Yeah, you, it's not as intimate. You know, you, so you exactly. can't rely on some of that personal connection stuff. It's got to be like someone's watching a TV almost now. You know? Exactly. And yeah. and then I found out that the taping was going to be at the same theater. So I was nice. like, okay, the same. this is now, okay. It's like a dry run. Yeah, it's a dry run. Do you know now before you're doing the first season? Still don't know. So you don't even know Still it's a dry know. run. You think it's a wet run? Yeah. I think, you think I the did, run's I, soaking I wet. I didn't even think it's when dry. I got back. It's a wet run. No, when, when, I got, when, <laughs> when I got back, when I got back from the show, I get back to the hotel and I'm telling Al, I'm just like, I, I, th- I think I did good. Yeah. I think I did good. It was a solid performance. Right. It wasn't like I crushed or anything like that. I just I feel like I did well. Okay. And uh, and then the, the so then the the Sunday the taping it comes. I I get you know I get the clothes. They they tell me hey you got to wear a certain. All right, I got my shirt. Everything's ironed out. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Logos. Yeah. Yeah. And then I talk to Mark Vieira and Mark yeah. Vieira. He I goes like dude, what where are they gonna where are they gonna put this shit. Like, like, where, where are they? Like, I'm literally in the green room, like, yeah. like a couple doing? hours. Like, what is, like, who's, who's taping? For, who's this for? Who's it for? You know, yeah. it's just some, because, dude, you see those so old dice that, clips. You just know that they're you filming see, it. You see the young comedian specials. You see all those things that, like, go straight to, like, you know, to, like, like VHS, where it's just, like, a showcase of comics. And I was like, okay, maybe this is one of those. But then he's just like, no, dude, this is, this is for HBO. And I was just like, what, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, yeah, this is for, for HBO. So I was like. Okay, thank God I had that first fucking well, time Friday. Time out. You know? Same theater. Back it up for a yeah. second. Because I know yeah. a guy, you work, you work your whole decade. You work a decade of your life to try to get, when you find out it's for HBO. Yeah. W- 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 was it just so non, okay. Yeah. In well, your head? Or, you, in, uh, you know, like, I, I know you're playing it cool. Oh, great. Well, but, like, in your head, are you kind of, like, is there, like, that little boy in you moment of, like, oh, my God. Like, because you, you're probably 13 years old watching HBO specials. Like, yeah, I was. So, of so, so does that come out a little bit now? Like, it, well, it, it came out, it, okay. 
Like so fucking HBO, man. I, like, I automatically in that moment when he when when he says that, like I was just like, you know, I was talking with him. I was like, I was like, you know, what, like, so. But I I was comfortable there already. It's like when you do a room yeah. that you've already been to. Sure. All right. So it's, I was just like, let me it's just. So have, good that you have to do the. So right, good that I did the new there. faces the yeah. The, the, yeah. the the night before, and I so even but even the uh, the the first taping because there was two. They did two tapings. The same big ass crowd in the theater. I mean, it was way more packed than the uh, new faces uh, that they had that night before. Packed crowd, the first show, I felt like I was just ironing out the kinks of the set. I might have missed like a little thing here and there. And funny enough, man, being the comic that she is, she's just like, okay, you could do bigger faces. Mm -hmm. They got yeah. cameras on yeah, your fucking do big face. Up. Yeah, that's so do the advice. face. And she's just like, do the face. I'm just like, all right, you're good. And then she said, also, you said this one thing, and she just gave me this, and I was just like, perfect, got it. And then even Rick came up to me and was like, yeah, the uh, the first taping was a bit sketchy, so... And I was just like, all right, well, I guess I got to fucking turn, turn it, it fuck up. On, turn bro. it the fuck, bring the thunder for the next one. So, dude, I milked that second one, took the notes that she gave me, and kind of just really just, you know, milked it. And that was the one that they used for, the, for the tape. Hell yeah. Yeah. Crazy people out there don't realize, uh, as a comic how much your face sells every joke you know yeah and, and that is so much and, and that's great advice that she gave you because yeah in a taping especially yeah it, it's it's like i don't want to say it's half of it but it's a huge part of it. i mean your face it, it sells jokes it, it, even on a live stage but like you know if you're in the back row of a comedy club you can't see as well a fucking on a filming dude they yeah. zoom in on your face so yeah it's, it's absolutely correct like <laughs> they sell do the that, fucking right? thing. They, yeah, they zoom in on your face sell it dude yeah i mean yeah. exactly there was some there was a thing that i had where it was just like i knew that if i if i just made the face it'll just add to the to the bit you know like yeah. if i just because you know, but um even after even after the tape i still couldn't i i almost like i i couldn't i couldn't really even believe the fact that that was a thing and i was you know even like oh yeah it's gonna be on hbo yeah whatever. like dude because we're we're fed so much so much heaping piles of shit on sure. the way up we don't believe you anything. Oh, we don't God. believe a fucking thing, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna so, get cut out. Or yeah, like, dude. You never yeah. know. You I was never like, know. Dude, like, the whole time I was like, oh, uh, about that first take, the second take. I was like, I, I knew that I had something, you know. But it was like, um, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be, be that. And dude, I mean, now have you seen any final? Cuts or edits or are you, I, are you gonna watch it on Thursday like everyone else? I I I'm going to see it. Uh, I'm gonna see it uh, on the twentieth. Along, uh, hopefully, I can watch it with my family. Nice. Uh, but uh, I have already seen like a little rough like first draft of the uh, edit or whatever okay. like that. And dude, how's it I look? Mean, it, it, dude, it's it's it's, it's the shit. It, yeah. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's great, like man. it's like it's like if That's they got your fucking do. like if they just got your set and they just basically had like you know fucking chris nolan just be like oh right, i'm gonna get shot over there yeah yeah but um yeah bro i mean i was i was hell yeah amazing, it's, it's surreal so, uh, it's surreal man it's congrats. surreal and the thing is is like I, I dude i didn't even fucking know until like like how much of an that's impact. wild yeah yeah the when the, the the trailer dropped and i took a shit i shit my pants <laughs> nice. i shit my pants when the trailer dropped <laughs> like I was like literally like you're in the trailer. I'm well, in the I, trailer. I, I saw right the trailer in there. too. I was like the, the club is bouncing or yeah, something. Yeah, the I club saw. is bouncing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> and uh, th look, man. There's a shirt, yeah, dude. And honestly, and I was even thinking about. I was like, dude, how's my material gonna be in ten years from now? Like right. I don't know. I I don't even know if this is like I don't, dude. Doesn't matter, man. It doesn't like, fucking. You, you, yeah, you got one out there, dude, man. Right, yeah. right. I was like, I was like, dude, I wanna like, and even then, like, we're, I'm, dude, I'm honestly like the best thing is like I. Dude, I first of all, like I, I'm, I, I can't say this enough, but uh, Am being a comic, Am oh, Lee, Am Lee, yeah. Lee okay, girlfriend, and, yeah. yeah, she is like we've been together for two years now, and I've learned so, so much about like, dude, even even when I left Florida, you know, even when I left Florida, and I went in a, and I went to New York, and I learned what I got to learn in New York, and then I moved out here, dude. There was so much different shit. I bro, these past two years that I've been here in Los Angeles, oh. I've changed as a human being, bro. Because like yeah. you have this bullshit meter that it's you true. gain when you go to New York, and from okay. Miami because yeah. you kind of gain that bullshit meter yeah. from Miami. And then there was like a whole introspective thing, especially with all the crazy shit that's going on now. You have so much time to yourself. What's going on like, now, dude? Yeah, right <laughs> now, right now. <laughs> no, dude, you're right though. And then, well, I I'll tell you this. Like it's, it's, it's so wild to see. You talk about changing. Like I remember the first time. First time I ever did a, first time I ever did a show ever with with Amy Marie. Yeah. What was that old? It was I think it was called like Starlight or something where they gave you like a free buffet. Starlight. It was like a the shitty cigarette bar. It was like a shitty bar like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. So I was doing a show and she was on it and I mean this is fucking 
got to be six, seven years ago, you know? And then cut to now. Yeah, same thing with you. We well, did dude, shitty bar I did, show and stuff. I don't know if you... If, uh, we, we got the... Uh, in South Florida, they were doing a... There's a... What's that fucking... Comedy Time TV? Yes. Comedy yeah. Time. Yep. You and I were on the same taping of Comedy Time. This is so funny that you're doing HBO now. Dude. Because if you picture HBO on this spectrum... The other uh, it's comedy <laughs> time spectrum, Dude. not only because com- comedy time does some good shit when yeah. you keep it at the ice house. Yeah, so we got the offer. I, I don't know. We got the same. We were doing the same show. I'm like, oh, comedy time. Fuck yeah, I'll do that. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. It was me and him and nine other comics. They did it at the fucking open stage. Yeah, open stage in Miami is one of the, the worst possible venues well, you could do comedy. It's at. a cool. It's, it's, it's an very angled. Open. I don't know if it's, it's the high. Worst. So it's like, oh, we're we're taking so we're watching this like you motherfucker. Yeah, it yeah. was it was so bad. I they mean, I wasn't there for it. I don't know, dude. But. They scrapped the whole thing. They taped everybody. Really? They scrapped the whole thing, and then we retaped it at Artistic Vibes. Yes, AV. And I awesome. was excited for that, and then I watched it. And it's like, <laughs> well, that's all. I mean, comedy it, time was, it was just comedy time, and South and comedy, comedy time comedy was a festival. great thing. Those two big things were like whatever. Whenever they would come around, Comedy Time or or South Beach Comedy Festival, which it stopped, and I was like, "Oh, why? Like it's so good, I, you know?" I never like, got to do that, did right? You, you get it? I, I just did. I did a small little thing on like the side room okay. from the Jackie Gleason. Yeah, like, Bill yeah. Burr is like in the main room destroying, <laughs> and I'm just here. Yeah. And you're, side room you're in the hallway like, outside. The people doing cocktails. Like, look at this fucking club. Yeah. Um, like but, Chappelle's in the theater, and you're in the you're in the yard like, outside. Yeah. But, but the Comedy Time taping, you know, whether you know was that open stage or artistic vibes to us it was like oh man this yeah. might be that this might be my first oh, so little, it was exciting you know, as yeah, fuck exactly. and then you go do it and it's like oh this is but, well, that's horrible what, but that's what and now saying. you're doing hbo it's like wow. Crazy. but back then like when i met you like i was saying like starlet when i met amory when i met him we're little pups dude you know like we're just we're figuring it out yeah. you know fucking i think i you know a year in or two years in like yeah. you know, you do things like you said the, the comedy time we we're talking a lot about the three of us in south florida three of us all got work with the improvs and stuff like yes that, you know yeah and i was speaking to you a little on the phone about that and, and, and again you think that like i get my first weekend you know what i'm seeing i'm like this is my big break shout oh out God, to like, renee motherfucking heart renee the fart heart what up yo uh, yes. yo <laughs> to make that nickname catch no, frozen but, bananas yeah I wine don't know. wine chokes no but renee no. shout <laughs> out to renee she, she renee heart is, is awesome and you know what well, we can we can suck her balls all day, but it's great because she really has her pulse on it. She really cares about like trying to like yeah. cultivate people. But you you, you know you, you're uh, going back to you're, you're, you're these kids or these pups. You're you're running the improvs. You're getting yeah. you getting your first taste of the professional stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Comedy time taping, doing these weekends of the improv. And you're thinking like, oh, it's it's gonna happen, and and then and you have no idea. Like, dude, you're just at the the foothill of this mountain that you're about yep. to climb. Yeah. You know, yep. Yep. and uh, you know it. What you just did now, it's not, it's not the peak. It's not the, it's not the you know you're not the summit. But to to go all that way and pretty film sweet. something for HBO is fucking awesome, dude. It's you definitely like, uh, one it's of amazing. the stones on the Infinity Gauntlet. Sure, you know I mean? like, for sure. Like that's yeah. definitely like that, man. Because, dude, if it wasn't for her, you know, I don't think us, you know, we wouldn't have met. On, I, even oh, on sitting at this even, table, no, yeah. but even no, but even <laughs> Matt, no. Matt would still be working at all. No, but dude, you <laughs> were working. No, but dude, you were working the weekends too. Yeah, well, I earned it. You know, but see, but, Whoa. But, but, but still, but still, like I can honestly look at, I could honestly, D- dude. Yeah, my time in South Florida, and by the way, it, it's so funny. Like growing, growing up as a comic in South Florida, and getting like that calloused of doing comedy in South Florida where you either got to figure out how to hit them in the teeth or just get strong or just not give a fuck or whatever you want to do. But growing up as a comic in South Florida is so good. Then you come out here like, well, you went to New York first. Yeah. I came out. I only went from from South Florida to LA (laughs) and I got booked on a bar show one time (laughs) and the guy literally let me wrote me a letter before the show. Yeah. Almost apologizing for how hard it's going to be. I was like, I'm like, dude, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, man. Yeah. It's, it, I'm good, bro. I'll be, I'll be fine. I've, dude, I, I've I, done the I can boot do a on bar Wednesday. show. Yeah. Well, those bar shows, forget. I can do how a about, bar dude, show in, yeah. in how about, fucking Silver Lake. How about I'll be Friday right. Night Late Show at the Fort Lauderdale Improv? Oh that was God. as rough as it gets. Too. They were drunk and rowdy and man. Uh, it, but but you earned your stripes that way, for dude, sure, it, dude. Then it, you come out here and it's like, oh, or you go, yeah. or you go to a Funny Bone in, in fucking Omaha. Yeah, it's like, oh, people are nice and sweet. But that's and the easy part, you know. Like you, it's like so like good. the getting to do the sold out show at the Improv, getting to do you know the, pa- that's easy. Once once you're used to like you said going in at one in the morning at the pair. And having to make nine drunk people laugh, we don't even yeah. want to look at you. Yeah. You know? yeah, that's the hard part. And then last time we were in New York, we stopped at the pair. The pair, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. walked in there on a Wednesday night, like at a fucking eleven thirty, and same thing. Some dude that's probably been doing it for four years is going up there just fucking 
trying his hardest to get 12 people's attention. You know, Dude, it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I feel you, brother. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. I mean, like, I can, you know, you, you can go ahead and say, oh, uh, you know, uh, I I I, I want to perform at that. It's like, dude, you gotta do. You gotta do. You gotta do the bad shows. You, you get to the good <laughs> yeah. shows. You know what's funny? Because and that's the thing is with Tom's comedy. in Miami on fucking thirty six, dude. Oh, Churchill's. Remember Churchill's? Dude, Churchill's. Which was great, but it was. I mean, I've been in churches a couple nights where it was fucking. Brutal. I've seen eight people, people get stabbed at Churchill's, bro. And people, that's a good night. Yeah, I did a show in Churchill's. Bang from last week that we were talking about. He was <laughs> to me. It was more just yelling. Like people would yell at me, like. Like I remember, like just doing comedy at churches, and someone just called me like a like you're a bitch, like from the back, and I'm like, yeah. oh, all right, I'm like, okay. That was like, last week, and like, that, that would make like, the joke like, better. That, that was, was me last joke. week. I, I didn't like your dude. Yeah, but but no, Churchill's was. But definitely there's no a fake. You gotta ground. cut your teeth. You gotta do. It. You know what's great about like with comedy like that is it it there is no. We talked about it like. It's not just going and doing the shit shows and earning your stripes and, and cutting your teeth and, and, and working on those muscles. But then it's everything you do off stage too. Being a cool fucking guy. Uh, you know, hang, hanging around, being around comedy. Like, just submerge yourself in com- That's the only thing I ever do. Like, I wake up every day, I'm like, comedy. What am I going to do for comedy? What, what can comedy be? A little bit of the Chicago Bears. Cubs are off to a hot start. <laughs> but then get back to comedy, comedy, yeah. comedy, comedy, yeah. comedy, you know? Well, I learned, I learned from, from guys like you. That's the thing is that I learned from guys like you. I learned from the Ramon Garcias. <laughs> I, I, I learned Ramon. from I, I, I learned from, you know, from people like management, you know, like Justin, you know, like how to treat a Justin staff, how to, Melissa, treat, how, to, how to treat a staff, you know, you know, and it's not it's not like you're yeah. you, dude. Think of it like Sinatra, like saying, like, hey, how you doing? Like, it's like, you know, <laughs> like kind of shit like that, you know, like like you got to You got you, you're going to be working here more than one weekend. At least know yeah. the fucking waiter's name. That was a great you know? thing about the, the, the three them, yeah. South Florida improvs was it, it not only did it teach you how to be a comic like on stage, but it taught you how to exactly like you said. Well, just fucking it, cool well, it was our staff, first how look to, how to work with the manager. It was our, it was our first to, look behind the curtain at professional yeah. comedy. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's the difference. A lot of these guys. How cool. How cool was it the first time you got that email from <sighs> the improv saying, hey, can yeah. you host this weekend? Dude. Like, yeah. who, who did you host for your first weekend in South Florida? Tom Segura. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, Mine was Paul Mercurio. Who do you yeah. got? Tom Scott kicks a shit at Paul Mercurio. Sorry, Paul. But I had uh, uh, Ryan Hamilton. Ryan Hamilton. Hamilton. Hey. Nice Hamilton. Is, hey. is, he's a fucking hey. funny ass comic. Dude. I worked with who, who, who featured for him? Did he bring one? James Davis. James Davis. See, it, I was, it was, a, dude, not for nothing in retrospect. Yeah. That audience got a fucking show that weekend, dude. Because dude. that was like James Davis right before he got the Comedy Central show. Yeah. And this was Tom Segura right before. So I think I, he did Detroit or something? He did. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah. at Detroiters, uh, um, something like Detroit, something. Some, yeah, Detroit adjacent or something. Uh, like that. Yeah. No, no, hood adjacent, hood, hood adjacent, yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, and you, and and <laughs> it, it was me, James Davis, and Tom Segura, and I'm just it's like, a professional show. It's, dude. it's a professional fucking show. But isn't it great when you finally feel like you belong in that situation? You're like, I wow, never, you belong I never, in that I, stage. I, 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 I'm gonna yeah. be honest. That's with a cool. I, still email, know, right? I never, I never. It was when I, uh, I think it was uh, the first time Renee put me to host with David Spade that I was oh, just like, that I was I just a, like, I how am I gonna have yeah. a conversation with this fuck? Yeah. Was was a. Uh, Farley. Farley was yeah, the middle. Me too. I did the Farley same. Farley was the middle, and I was like playing Grand Theft Auto <laughs> at the time, and I was just like, I'm gonna open up with a Grand Theft Auto convo, just see where this goes, and then it Farley's ran like, with yeah, it. I can't play that game with my wife around, and I was yeah. just like, okay, dude, this he, is it. <laughs> he was like, it's weird. So I, I got to work with Spade too. Yeah, and Kevin Farley. That's what we're talking about. Was was the I never his, got that call. feature. <laughs> yeah, but it was like you got the Mark. You the, got the Mike Hamilton. Yeah, call, the bro. first time. dude. The, you know what's funny? What? Like and then this is comedy. Like. I've heard people say, oh, I won't MC anymore. When I'm in South Florida visiting my family, I'll hit up Renee and say, hey, I'm in town, or, Mich- or uh, Melissa, I'm, I'm in town. Last time I was there, I hosted for fucking Mark, uh, uh, fucking uh, Norm MacDonald. Dude, mm. you know, it's great. Like, will you MC? Fuck yeah, I'll MC great. for Norm MacDonald, you guys hang dude? out in the green room, put sweatpants on, smoke weed, and hang out dude, for a few hours? Dude, he talked comedy f- till 2 in the morning right. in the green room. In the green room, West Palm Beach, they put sweatpants like, on and hung out. Yeah. <laughs> fucking with, with Mark Norman. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Pants on. Ma- not Mark Pants- Norman. Nor, uh, Norm, Norm McDonald. McDonald, sorry. Norm McDonald. No offense to Mark Norman. Sorry, Mark. No, no, no. He's not a legend. <laughs> Either one. Yeah. Either one. Either one. <laughs> Matt has a crush on Mark Norman. Uh, I like oh, him, dude. Right. I like More him layers to this podcast, yeah. guys. <laughs> Have you seen his feet? Yeah. Yeah. Hey-oh. Hey-oh. <laughs> yeah but he's no, it's no, it, it comedy's it's weird because there's so many lows, so to say, you know, and then when you get those highs, those those great moments, like describe all right, so so you do when you did those two filmings and finally after you get done with your second set that night when you're filming in the theater yep. for HBO, you're finally backstage. Because even in between sets, you know you still have work to do. Like, like I know that feeling. Like, you yep. can't relax. You're, 
So you're finally done. There's no more work you can do. You can't. You can freak out as much as you want. All the freak outs yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Your shoulders drop. How good did you get in the green or just fucking finally like chill? Like, how good that feel? Like I did it. Because uh, you got your laughs, right? Like you had a good set. Like, well, the backstage there was just so many like people that I didn't even know yeah. back there. Uncomfortable. That, that, like, yeah, like the only people that I knew was Am and the other comedians, and that was it. And I just went back there and I was just like, all right, it's done. Like I'm gonna go get a sandwich and just call it a fucking night and head. Bed catering. Yeah, no. it can't feel better. Ah. Well, no, no, they, no, they had no phenomenal catering. Good but, catering. But yeah. no, no, but I went out and got a sandwich because you know I'm not like that. But uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be all over the catering. <laughs> I'd be fucking shoving my backpack, dude. I'd be fucking. No, I went out. I went out for this food. Good uh, man. But, uh, but yeah. And uh, I just you know, I, I went back uh, And then literally I, I'd flown out for my next gig Which was out in Canada And then the did, pandemic no, no after, did Any after party? Rap there party? was an after party But it was light It was a light affair Joe. I guess all the other comedians Had some place to go Whatever it's fine yeah. You know And then I you know Shook hands And, and you know gave, Made a couple of connections Here and there and, and you know I really didn't even think Anything of it And, and it's and, six months later and, what? Yeah exactly Six months later The trailer drops And I shit my pants So wait This whole six months You've been kind of like What's going on Like do they tell you you when or you I've been, been like doing hey when's no. it happening, no, when's it happening? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean I've been keeping in touch with the producers they tell me a little this a little yeah. that you know I got stuff that's like you know I'm, I'm uh, again, nothing. Uh, L- Leba, Orlando Leba told me the most important thing because he's one of those guys yeah. that like I definitely turn to whenever there's like you know because he's one of the Florida guys that like yeah he got the Tonight Show multiple times Couple so it's times like I'm absolutely yeah. gonna ask this guy for advice so he was just like until it's the ink is dry you don't say shit so it's like I'm just gonna keep plowing and chucking and creating content and stuff like this just like how you are you guys mm-hmm. are doing and I'm just gonna you know see what sticks especially now more so than ever because I came back from that Canada shit in March and I was like I may not have a show. For God knows when, yeah. and uh, so, I, so you shit, know, Am man. and I we were like, all right, let's set up a game plan. Let's do like yeah. a thing where we, you know, podcast or something like that, and we'll have you guys on, and you know, some shit like that. Well, we got what we got to do is once we're able to get, once shows are able to, you know, we can do them around here, mm-hmm. man. Like we like we do Irvine, Bray, Ontario. We gotta get you on some of these shows, dude. You and Am, yeah, absolutely. Gotta get you on some of these shows out here with us, um, CJ. We're, we're uh, I'm in the midst of rebooking our, uh, for all our fans out there, quick, but we're uh, rebooking our Arizona dates. Uh, those dates will be coming out very shortly. A- uh, you're still down, CJ, to come do the 100%. AZ shows? We got KJ. So just going to drive us there. And and fucking crab apple sandwiches. Soap. Yeah. Um, but listen, hey, where, where, where can they find you? What, uh, what, 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 uh, yeah, just follow, follow, <clears throat> follow me at David Funny Stuff. The uh, special drops in three days yeah, on so the 20th. 20th, HBO Max. HBO Max. And... Uh, I mean, and, and David Funny that, Stuff man. on all the uh, David Funny Stuff the platforms. If you guys, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, it's the Hot Comedy Fest, and it's like literally some of the best up and coming Latin. Check it out. Comedians. Who else is on that? You know, best Selling was uh, on it, right? Like, uh, uh, well, no, it's it's a whole entire. They're they're releasing their summer series. So okay. what they're doing oh, is nice. they're bringing out. But some of the people that are on oh. it with me are Mark Vieira, Gina Brion, Carmen Lynch. I mean, cool. just literally some oh, of the great. best. Like just heavy Mark's hitters, great, yeah. solid Latinx <clears throat> comedians that are on the rise. So you know, check it out, man. In three days. Awesome. Congrats, man. Guys, Dave Rosario, check that out. Make sure you check out uh, HBO Max. Check out his thing dropping on the 20th of August, guys, this Thursday. And, uh, dude, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll have you on uh, some of our shows. We'll have you on here again. This is fun. We, yeah. had, we had to cut this yeah. one a little short, but, dude. Don't worry. Love you. We're no. going to touch hands. Look at that. Ah! We'll wash. We'll wash. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, stay dope. You soap. And, uh, again, HBO Max. Yeah,